Retro fucking games, man. They are the shit. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that might argue that why play old games? They're stupid. There's new games. Graphics this, graphics that, fucking frame rate, and you fuck off! Alright, I still think retro games are the shit. And, you know, I just want to tell a little story about them and just see what you guys think about old school games, too. But, uh, let's get right into it. Start off with, you know, there's one thing I've always noticed is, uh, controllers now. They're very complex, and they're heavy, they're bulky, they're big, they got batteries. That's, you know, it's it's cool. It's technological badassery, you know what I'm saying? But, um, at the same time, you know, my hands start to hurt just from clicking that and pushing it, or, you know, doing this and all that. You know, there's one thing I've always had in mind when I'm sitting there with these big bulky controllers in my hand. You know what the first thing that comes to mind is? This motherfucker right here. This right here is a fucking controller, alright? This right here is motherfucking legendary. And uh, everybody knows it. It's got the clickies and that's it. You got motherfucking one, two, three, four, and a motherfucking D-pad. That's it. And then that's all we needed, you know? Fucking, well, I wasn't personally alive back when this fucker was out and big, but, you know, that's all they needed. Me, more like N64. Sega Genesis type shit. But, um, yeah. Just the thought I had. They have come a long fucking way, huh? But, there is one thing I will say, and that is, I appreciate greatness. And, you can't say that this right here isn't technological greatness. You know, it came a long fucking way. And, a lot of people like simple. I'm a simple man, too. But, uh, you gotta give credit where uh, credit's due, and it is still pretty badass what they got going on nowadays. But, as we all know, retro gaming, and collecting the retro games and the old and the classics and, you know, the rares, is very, very expensive and time-consuming, and hell, not everybody has pockets full of fucking cash, you know, they do, but it goes to other things like bills and shit. Not everybody can go and spend 250 bucks on a fucking 3DL on eBay, just like that. So, you know, there's other ways around it. There's emulators, you know, that's completely free. Some could say it's wrong, legal, whatever, but it's completely free. And, uh, you know, who can go wrong with that? Well, unless you go to jail, can Nintendo sue ya? But hey, it's cool. That's one thing you can do, and that's one way you can get around it, you know, the money thing. But that's why they have stuff like this right here. This is called a Retro Duo, and you know, it's definitely not the best, and it's definitely not the best main thing, but it gets the job done. You can take SNES, or, you know, NES, and pop them right in there, and play them, just like a fucking regular old system. Holy shit, I fucking put it in backwards. But, as you can see, it gets the job done, and it's two in one, you know, I think they even have one fucking, like, five or six, it's made by a Hyperkin, Hyperkin or some shit, I don't know, I, I heard it's not the best, so beware, but... It can do a lot, and it's not as expensive as buying all the old consoles either. I lost the power cord to this, um, but when I did have it, it was pretty cool. And, uh, it, it, like I said, it got the job done. And they're not expensive. I think I paid 60 bucks for this thing, and uh, it had two controllers. And I had the game, which, you know, people go through hard times in life. Everybody does. I, myself, went through a hard time in life. I had to sell a lot of my collection. And, you know, I don't have much left. But, hey. It is what it is, and that's why they make stuff like this. Hell, the only thing I really have worth talking about anymore is this motherfucking piece of history right here. This is a Sega Nomad, and the Sega Nomad was a handheld Sega fucking Genesis. And, uh, this is one of the coolest things I ever fucking spent money on in my life. And I just couldn't bring myself to get rid of it. Never did, never will. It's broke. My friend busted a damn brightness switch. I don't even have the fucking cord anymore, but you can use the regular Genesis cord, which is what I use, but it's all my Genesis. Figured I got a handheld one, so fuck it, right? But yeah, this thing is cool. It's pretty rare. I'm glad I got me one. It's called a Sega Nomad. It's about all I got left in my collection. And a dusty old banged up Sonic 2 cartridge. But hey, it's still cool, and it's a piece of gaming history, and I'm glad I fucking own one. But back on to the whole money aspect and money issue. You know, there's, you can buy one of them things. It's not the best. It's, you know, it, like I said, get the job done. But a lot of people don't want to do that. You know, they'll just emulate a Raspberry Pi, you know, or hell. Go out and buy the actual system, which is what I was doing for a while. But, like I said, shit happens. And I'm glad they make stuff like this, okay? This kind of shit is cool as fuck to me. Yeah, you don't get every game that was ever released, but they do release some. And uh, the first one here 
is the Rare Replay Collection. It's fucking awesome. It has like 30 games. I paid 13 bucks for this, okay? 30 games, old school stuff. Everything rare made besides motherfucking 007. Why didn't you put 007 on this shit? But yeah, this is cool. And it, it's not expensive. <laughs> that, that's damn sure. But hey, on to the next one. We got the 20th anniversary Duke Nukem. And you know, it's basically what you know and love about Duke, but on a new system. It's exactly the Atomic Edition, I think. Or something like that. Just put on a new disc and slapped on there with new levels too. Pretty cool. Uh, people have their mixed reactions with this one, but I thought it was good enough. It was worth the $18 I paid for it. Cool as fuck. You know, like I said, not everybody has an old PC or whatever they can get to play these kind of games. You know, this wasn't on console. Now it is. It's cool. But this one's a little bit different. It's uh, Resident Evil 4 Remastered. It's not that old. And it, you know, kind of looks like a newer game. But the fact that you can't play this on the new system, and they re-released it so you can. This is a great fucking game. I'm glad they do shit like this. A lot of people say it's a cash grab or, you know, people being greedy, just re-releasing stuff because they're lazy. Well, hell, I'm glad they do it because guess what? Even PS2s are getting expensive now. You know what I mean? So, hey, kind of shit's cool to me. You know, back to the game that I started this video with. You know, this game right here is a good fucking example of, you know, how people have gotten just too fucking just unappreciative you know what i mean back in the day when this came out these graphics fucking blew people's fucking dicks off you know what i'm saying you get people now a game will come out and it, it looks like it came out from ps2 buddy graphics are not everything okay it's about the fucking game and i hear it too much now people just want to bitch about the looks or there's a bug here or a bug there fuck it they'll fix it eventually there's these things called patches but, you're gonna bitch about the graphics being bad when the game's fucking great? Fuck you, man. You need to go play some old school shit. Y'all just don't know what the fuck you're talking about. But, yeah, I've been getting back into it lately, guys. Just hardcore, you know, watching people like Lazy Game Reviews and Game Sack and just all of them guys that I grew up, you know, the first people I ever saw on YouTube. Angry Video Game Nerd. You know, the list goes on. And, hey, it never gets old to me. Sometimes I stop and sometimes I forget about it. But it always comes back. And, you know... I feel like I'm going to get back into the groove of either collecting or just retro gaming. I thought about doing a retro pie, which is basically like taking a, a case of something cool that you like, like an NES or a Genesis, and slapping this thing called a Raspberry Pi in it, which is a mini computer you can put a bunch of fucking games on. I want to do that. I don't know. I don't have the money to go and buy all the systems again, that's for sure. But uh, I want to know what you guys think about old school stuff. Do you have any systems? You know, Do you have a collection? Anything. I want to know. This is the type of shit that interests me. I've my whole life video games were one of the things that i could just look to and escape the bullshit you know what i mean so yeah i like to know what you guys think you got any old shit you want to share it with me let me know comments below and uh i'm billy ricky and i fucking love video games if you don't i don't know what the fuck's wrong with you you know fucking go play some chess or check all right have a good day hit the subscribe button if you ain't subbed yet i do all kinds of shit all right i hope i don't disappoint you peace the fuck out.